Our next caller is Balthazar from South Africa. Balthazar, how can we help you? Hey, what's up, so, what's up guys? How are you doing? Good. What's happening? No, I'm doing well. Um, so I just want to ask a question around like rep and set volume when training for strength. So just a, a bit of background. I'm about, I'm 25 years old. Um, I'm about like 187 centimeters. I think that's six foot one. Um, I'm not sure how the conversion is good. I'm not as good at that conversions, but um, I weigh around 196 pounds. Um, so I play cricket um, for fun. So I, I train cricket twice a week and then I have a game on the weekend. And then I strength train five days a week. So since listening to you guys, I cut down significantly on my um, set volume and my rep volume. And my question is based around that. That So I wanted to know, is it counterproductive to train for strength on your compound lifts? So like what between one and six reps and then for your hypertrophy um, for the for the other exercises um, on your exercise day. So between eight and 12 reps, especially no, if you're no, trying no. to gain strength. No, 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 not necessarily at that's all. That's actually a common strategy. So like someone will do like low reps for bench or overhead press or deadlift, and then they'll raise the reps a little bit for isolation movements like flies and curls and tricep extensions. And it's actually not a bad strategy because really low reps for certain single joint exercises really don't lend themselves well to it. So what you're doing is perfectly fine. Um, I will say that now your goal, it sounds like your goal is to get stronger in the, in the big three lifts. Is that correct? Yeah. I think for my size, I feel I'm not pulling and pushing like um, a lot of weight. I know it's not good to compare, but I feel like I can, like for my size, I should be, you know, doing a lot, like being able to like pull and um, push a lot more how, weight. How long have you been working out? Cause I'm going to give you a program, but I want to make sure I send you the right one. So I've been, so I've been probably strength training for like a year and a half, but I've, I've been playing sports since I was very little. So we had a little bit of strength training in between, um, but not a lot of focus on it, but properly for a year and a half, okay. I would say. You're and not then gonna, you're not going to go away from anabolic right now. Are well, you? I was just going to say, uh, how you're intense are your practices? Uh, uh, yeah. How, how uh, intense are practices for cricket? Are they pretty like hard workouts? Well, it's three days a week. No, so it's not hard. It's not hard workouts. It's like around two hours, and it's basically like it's almost like baseball, I could say. So it's a lot of like throwing and a little bit of running. Um, but on weekends, our, our matches are like nine to ten hours long. So I try to stay away from, Dang. you know, <laughs> doing long. doing. <laughs> oh yeah, do, yeah, doing push push workouts for like on a Friday before the game because. I don't want to do a overhead press and then my yeah, um, shoulders. Dude, cr like, cricket is like the ultimate. Out. It's the ultimate spectator sport for the dad <laughs> yeah. who yeah. is like, "Sorry, honey, I got to watch the game a whole day." Yeah. <laughs> it's it's all all day it beats yeah. golf, even, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Balthazar, I'm gonna I'm gonna send yeah. you maps and a ball. That's right. I think that's perfect okay. for what you want and your current, you know, training uh, regime with your sport. We also have something called Maps Powerlift, although Maps Powerlift is better run by itself without okay. additional, you know, exercise and athletics. Right. Maps anabolic I think would be ideal and you can choose two or three foundational workouts a week on it. I'd start you off on two. Do the two foundational okay. workouts uh, and then stick to your normal practice, do trigger sessions on some of the off days. And I wouldn't be surprised if your strength went through the roof. Yeah, uh, power lifts would be like probably okay. good in the off season, you know, something where you're not like uh, comboing that with your your skills sessions what you're doing in practice and everything else so you could just focus completely on you know getting strong in those core lifts the biggest challenge you're going to have is the mental piece here uh because yeah. you, it sounds like yeah. you're a competitive type of person athlete uh you were already lifting five days a week on a push uh push pull legs and you were yeah. doing three days of cricket so us all of a sudden coming in here and saying okay more than cut your strength training in half and your goal is to get stronger it's gonna sound counterproductive to what you're trying to do but exactly. the truth is this is the direction yeah. you need to go so you need to kind of trust the process uh, you need I'm, to recover to move forward yeah Think I'm, about that. I'm gonna make sure doug puts you in the private forum that way too we could yell at you if you don't listen to us over the next <laughs> couple months because it, this, is, this is the yeah. most tempting thing a young guy like you is gonna have okay it, it totally can relate to this being 25 yeah. years old full of piss and vinegar totally. i'm playing playing sports <laughs> on the side for fun i'm also trying to build yeah. muscle and i want to and the, and the thought is the more i put into it the more i'm going to get out but it's this is not true when it comes to building muscle and strength 
there there is a too much and a too little and i think you're leaning on too much if our goal is to get stronger week over week just simply backing off to the two to three days of maps anabolic routine is going to give you the results you want you just got to trust the process they'll stick with it for a while you don't even have to trust it for that long mm. <laughs> I, I think if you follow it within the first two three weeks you'll see strength gains so within the first few weeks you'll know right away like oh this is definitely working for me that's how confident uh, we are in, in this kind of programming with what you're okay. currently doing. But I would start with the two foundational. The, don't go to three unless okay. you stopped getting results from the two. Um, I, and I'd be surprised if, it, if, it, if you, you probably did a whole three-month cycle with two foundational workouts and add tremendous uh, amounts of weight to, to your main lifts. Another way to use that, I think we gave this advice to someone the other day, is for you to decide whether you go two or... The, that's the beautiful thing about MAPS and a ball. You could have one week where you do two times a week, the next week you do three, and then the week after that you go back to two. It doesn't mess up the programming, so you could kind of choose that if you like. And I, we gave this advice to someone who was in a similar situation. I believe she was like a, a volleyball player or something. I don't remember who it was. But if you can learn to read your own body and 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 have the self awareness to go like oh you know this week we really didn't practice that hard at cricket or the game was easier or my body just feels really good maybe I go to three days a week mm -hmm. and if it's a week where you know you had a you know extra long game or practice was taxing or maybe you had a lot of work was kind of stressful if it's yeah. kind of a higher stress week and you know that you've kind of you know, taxed your body more than the week previous, then you drop to two. So if you get good at kind of paying attention to those things, which I, I recommend you start paying attention to if you're not already, and adjust the the amount of training you're doing based off that, I think that works really well too. Yeah. We'll send that over to you, okay, Balthazar? Yeah. Awesome. Um, can I maybe just ask two questions around that, um, if that's okay? Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. So I kind of have like a history of like, I would say overtraining, like I really like training and I like try to do it every day. But if let's say I can only do the two foundational workouts a week, how do I, you know, stop myself from doing something on that day? Is there something I can replace it with? Yeah. Um, mobility. Trigger sessions yeah. and mobility. You can do trigger sessions. You can do mobility okay. work. You can go outside and hike. You can go for walks. You can do yoga. Okay. I don't want you to not be active. Yeah, it's just yeah. low to moderate yeah. intensity. Yeah. I just don't want you to lift weights, you know, with high intensity when, every single day. When you get the program, you're going to see that. So even though we're saying two to three foundational days, the other two days a week are trigger sessions. So you technically could be okay. working out still four or five days. It's just a lot different intensity follow the yeah. trigger sessions as applied on there and if you wanted to do more on top of that i'd say some light mobility work with there and a great place to start for mobility if you don't have any direction uh on that is if you go to the uh, maps or is it primeprowebinar.com yes go to primeprowebinar.com literally follow that routine uh, that I do on there. It's about a 50 minute routine. So okay. if you feel antsy and you want to do something and you want to do movement, you follow that. I think that'll have tremendous benefit for you. Okay, great. Thank you. No problem, man. Awesome. Thanks for calling. Right. Yeah, thank you. And I just want to thank you guys again for, <laughs> I know everyone says this, but you know, um, since listening to you guys, like my life has changed a lot. Oh, um, appreciate that. In a personal and like professional life, you know, my relationship, everything has changed. Oh, thank you very yeah. much, man. That much never gets old to hear. Person, thank you. So. Appreciate thank you that, so man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. You know, we've had a, a huge uh, surge of listeners from South Africa recently. So it looks mm -hmm. like we've kind of kept caught on over there, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It, I this love is, his name, dude. Balthazar. I know, right? Yeah. Um, two things that are very interesting. One, uh, I forgot that cricket was that long. I remember I had a buddy who played it, and he said that sometimes they would stop a game yeah. and have to restart it later because it was there's just so it can go on for so long. That's, That's crazy. Kind of wild. Baseball got like long and, and you know winded. Yeah, that, that has to be like yeah. to set the record. One of those episodes on bad sport had uh, one of the on cricket, and I'm like, I was. It gave me like the urge to want to go figure it out because it's so frustrating for someone like me who likes sports to watch a sport and not know what's not going know what on. Yeah, right. it's so confusing it's to me. I'm sure it's there, not that like, confusing. What? It's just so new to me, yeah, so I don't yeah. know. But but yeah, back to you know kind of what he was talking about with his with his workouts and stuff. Um, you know, the right dose is the right dose, uh -huh. and I, I know. And I look, I get it, man. I do this all the time to myself. You want to do more because you enjoy the process, which is actually a good place to be. Yeah. You just got to be smart about it. Otherwise, you, the process will kill you uh, also. so, But yeah, if you enjoy the process, I totally get it. You just want to be constructive. So I'm Checks glad he asked and balances, that. man. Yeah. And I'm glad he asked that second part. Like, okay, what do I do? Because I like to move. It's like, you can totally move. Yeah. You just do other things that are going to benefit you. Don't 
just got to be smarter up. about it. I mean, that, and that's really the key is to just know that there's the right dose there that's going to propel you forward. You do too much, not going to be to your benefit. Totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.